this is another example from the CBT uh, practice exam. I'll go ahead and read the problem. I have it in front of me. I wasn't able to fit that in the screen, but um, a sequential logic circuit has one input X, one input Z, and six states labeled A through F. So as we can see from the table over here, A through F. Okay, so the circuit is described by the state table shown below. Entries in the two right-hand columns, these ones right here, re uh, represent the next state slash output value. So we have next state output, which means C, B, D, they represent your next state for whatever input. If your input is zero, then depending on your present state, you either have your next state as the left hand, and then your output would be your right hand. If your input is one, you follow the same logic. Okay, so for example, let me give you an example in a problem. If the present state is B and an input X equals 1 is applied, so if your input is B and input 1 is applied, so you have D slash 0, your next state will be D and the value of Z will be 0, your input, you mean your output will be 0. So that's basically the, the problem. Now the question is, if the circuit is initially in state C and the input sequence x is equal to 1, 0, 0. This is not 100. You have to read it as 1, 0, 0 is applied. The output sequence, what is the uh, the output sequence? So that's the question right there. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. So initially, it's at state C, so we are dealing here. We are over here. Oh. Okay. So the input sequence is one zero zero. So let's uh, let me put it this way: one zero and then zero. Okay. So first one is one, of course. So if my input is one and my actual my initial state is C, what do I have? I have B slash one. So I'm gonna go ahead and write B slash one. I should use a different color, but um, okay. Let me use a different color. So I have B, I'm here, okay? I have B slash 1. What does it represent? B is the next state, and my output is 1. So my first output is 1. So first output And that's one, so I can I can circle that one. What's my next state? My next state is B, right? That's what it means. Because you have next state slash output. So this is your output and this is your next state. My next state is B. Let's go to B. So next state is B. So I'm over here. And my input is zero. So if my input is zero and my next state is B, I also have B slash one, okay? So I have B slash one. What does it mean? It means that my next state is B, but my out second output is one. So second output is also one. I can circle that one up. From here, I can already stop and then guess that the answer will be 1, 1, 1 because that's the only one that have two ones. But we'll still continue with the logic here so we kind of get the get to the final answer. Alright, so my next state is also B after my output is 1. So this next state is also B, so I'm, all, I'm also here. And... Um, and my input is also zero so I'm already I'm also at B slash one okay so I'm here at B slash one so my output again next state slash output so B is my next state my output is one so my third um, output is equal to one now the sequence is over because our input sequence was 
only one zero zero now if we're given of course one zero one zero one we just follow the logic by you know next stage slash output etc to get the final output so here we can stop and we can see that the uh, the final answer is d as in one 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 and that's pretty much it now if you look at this problem it looks long and um complicated i guess if you will but you just need to follow the logic and and you'll do it under two to three minutes you know so it's not really it, it looks horrible but it's not really that hard so you just kind of figure out i mean i don't i'm not computer so i don't know what part of uh i think this is just logic i mean i don't i don't know what part of what topic this falls under but um yeah that's it just logic all right if you have questions let me know thanks